Kadamatri and Masaba. We are underway on BBC Radio Sheffield's Football Heaven. And Cam Dawson gets the ball and will kick this one long down the middle, looking for Kadamatri. Headed clear. Ihekwa will head it over towards this near side. Valentin tries to keep it in, works it over his shoulder. As the game grows, hopefully, you know, we, we, like, we can expand that and make that a, maybe even a 3 4 3. But. Well, it's interesting, John, because when the restart here, Valentin's one of the furthest players forward. So that's almost playing like a right winger as this one's moved up. And I'm starting to wonder whether it is a back four with Deshaun Bernard playing as a right back here. As Ihekwa will hold on to it, plays it through to Bannon. Great, Great tackle, tackle from Barry yeah. Bannon, the Wednesday captain, but then he's passed it straight to a Preston player. North End will run through the middle. Here's a nice little touch off of Brown, and the shot comes in, and it's over the bar, and a goal kick to the Owls. Well, you don't blame him for having a shot there. It was Alan Brown, the captain. And it'll be thrown in. There's a run here from Masaba looking for it. That option's turned down. It's thrown down the line instead. Gassama will leap for it, headed away by Preston. Work back down that left channel. Gassama should get there first and will do. Now can he take on his man and beat him here? Drives in towards the penalty area on the left flank. Great Twist play. It's pulled back again. He's crossed it in. It's a chance. Oh, he's, he's going to regret over. that. Big chance for Will Volks. Excellent play from Gassama. And Volks, who's been searching for a goal, has headed that one over the bar, John. It was a chance. That was a massive chance. And Will Volks knows that. It was fantastic work on that left-hand side. He's picked him out. He's about eight yards out. He has to hit the target. Yeah, he won't want to see the replay of that one, just sort of seeing the replay on the big screen here. It's tremendous work from Gassama, and he picks out Volks. He goes back towards Cam Dawson. Dawson to Fumewo. He just turns away from uh, the pressure. Nicely done. Finds Ihekwa again. Ihekwa foot the ball. Strokes it in towards Masaba, oh, who's given it no, away. And no, no! Right through was Mike, tries to turn his man. Slips back towards Holmes. Now Brown. Masaba makes amends for giving it away just by holding Preston up, but the danger not clear yet as Holmes goes for a shot selfishly and sticks that into the away end. But, but it's again, just careless Johnny midfield, isn't it? Well, that's what I'm saying about Masaba, you know, moments of brilliance, but you've got to get a basics right, and he's just miskicked that ball when it's played into him. He's trying to find, I'm not sure if it was Cameron Dawson or Bernard. Danny Rills, Barmy Army is the champ from the away end. Wednesday very much in the game. He just it's, these, these championship games, John, you see so many like this that could go either way. Well, both teams have, have been fragile of, of recent. So I think the first goal is vital in these games. You know, uh, if we were to score, the roof would come off at the away end. Great ball through. Here's an opportunity for Wednesday. Should be, got a should man be. On here. It should be finished. It yes, be finished. get in there. It's Marvin Johnson who fires it in. All of a sudden, Preston's defence parted like the Red Sea. Johnson runs through, and when it needed a finish, there was one. It is Preston nil. Sheffield Wednesday one. Quality from Marvin Johnson. He's burst forward, similar to the goal he scored at home against QPR, I think it was. He's found himself alone and his pace has took him all the way, 20, 30, 40 yards. And again, he's finished that with a plump. No, it's a Great really good finish. finish. We've seen the replay there. I mean, there were three yeah. yellow shirts, John, who could have took that one on. Where was the defence for Preston? After the game, but uh, it's kind of club policy not to talk much about injuries. I'm not sure we'll have much info when we talk about it. Well done, ref. Foul on Masaba yeah. there. Masaba's bought us some more time there. It's a nice little run. So Bannon stands over the free kick. He's going to chip this one in left footed. It's oh, it's gone it target. Ikwa, headed it down into the ground. But straight at Woodman, who made the save. Cut out by Johnson as Preston clear. It's going to play for a throw in. So the free kick taken short. Here is Potts, tries to turn away from Gassama. Byers goes in and will try and hold his ground here. Put a yellow wall in front of the Preston players. Oh, it's players. good play there. Liam, sorry, uh, Brown breaks the lines. Now here's Liam Miller over on that left-hand side. He plays it in short, plays the 1-2. Miller shot off the crossbar. 
Now the rebound from Potts is mishit, but then Johnson... Don't give a foul away! Back into the box, appeals for a penalty because Potts felt he was being pulled, and Potts sprints over to the assistant on this near side to protest, but no penalty given, John. No, massive let-off there, hitting the ball, but then... You've got to be really careful. I know he's trying desperately to get his foot round and, and kick it out, but don't give the penalty away. And then oh dear, Masaba we could to clear. Masaba gets on it and drives forward, but going down a bit of a blind alley, and he loses the ball. Played into midfield, given away by Preston. Fires his ball through the middle. Is great. Kadamarchi needs to get past one defender. Can he do it? He can't. It's a good recovering tackle from the Preston defender who was back. It just opened up for him there, mm. just opened up, and you do sense that as much as, as Wednesday have defended and had to defend in this second half, that they could just have a chance like that with Preston having to commit bodies forward. Here is Bannon, now Byers. Byers urged to shoot, instead plays it into Johnson, the goal scorer. Great he ball! And it just That's a corner! Touch. It's gone behind for a goal kick, it just needed a touch. Did, I thought the goalkeeper touched that. Nope, straight behind, and it was Masaba at the far post. If he'd have got a shoelace on it, it would have gone in. Played in low, back into intercepts for the Owls. Kept in quite oh, Wednesday, no! a bit of an S shot from Palmer, but Paul yeah. Valentin steps in and clears. Ball played backwards. It's a very nervy second half for Sheffield Wednesday as they lead 1-0. Now Windass, now as three against three. Good ball, Here, good ball. Play this well as Preston keep bodies forward. They're taking a few risks, can Wednesday capitalise? By his edge of the box, will shoot! And he slices it well wide of the goal, so it stays 1-0, yeah. but what is the score at the New York? Andy Giddings. Well, this one back from Potts. Into midfield. Wednesday, having led for so long, will not want to surrender it now. Look at Danny Rill jumping That's up a great and down ball. on his spot there. Desperate for his team to hold on as this one is clipped into the box. A man goes down, shot comes in, it's deflected off somebody and booted away. That would have been a soft penalty. It's a good touch from opinion. Fletcher. Fletcher holds it up. Now Fletcher does ever play well there to find Johnson. It's worked in behind. Now can Windass give chase here? Keepers a long way out of his area. Kicks have a shot, have a shot. Ihequa <laughs> to Byers, and Ihequa will work it forward and now to play for a throw in there. Well, that's the second penalty appeal. 13 to go. Whiteman. Whiteman looks up, plays it in low. Brown. Back over to that left-hand side and Miller. Miller holds on to it, teases, checks, plays it to the edge of the box and Whiteman. Whiteman to the edge of the area. Just opening up again for Preston. That's nice passing to Fine Miller. Eventually the cross comes in. Deshaun Bernard with a headed clearance. Whiteman on the edge of the box finds a teammate. Shot driven in. And what's that come off? I don't know if that may have just that the could have post. hit the post. It was very, very close. Well, it was the uh, number 10 Mads Frockia. Let's have a look if it did clip the post from this replay behind the goal. Nice bit of play on the edge of the box, and yeah, was it the... I think it was the line down the yeah, side that holds the side netting in the if, if anything, it might have grazed it, but... Danny Rill is practically on the pitch. Desperate to do... He wants to get on there and help out. He's shouting his instructions. The Wednesday end trying to do their bit as well with a chant of Barmy That's Army. That's too easy. Play. Potts on the right-hand side. Potts has crossed. Oh, it's Cam a good Dawson. save. He's done well there, Cam Dawson, because that bounced awkwardly right in front of him. And now there is two players down. There's a... George Byers has been shown a red card. Byers has been sent off for an off-the-ball incident. George Byers has been sent off. There is a Preston player down. There is a Wednesday player down in the box. I have no idea what's happened, but Byers has been shown a red card, John Pearson. I mean, I, I, it's, it's, the ball is nowhere near. We're watching Potts getting the cross in, Cameron Dawson making the save, and 30 yards away, the Preston player goes down. If he's done something, then that, that's absolutely stupid. If he's appealing and, and he's saying that he didn't, then 
I don't know how the referee's seen that. I don't know who's seen it, as the linesman seen it. But... So... Th this is how, how the game's gone now. There's loads of stuff happening off the ball. Free kick, Frockyar. Kicked away by Wensley. They've got to keep their heads here. There's four minutes plus presumably a fair bit of stoppage time to come. But they're still leading 1-0. There's going to be six minutes at least. Ball into the box here. It's dangerous again. Here's Chet Evans. It's a brilliant save from Cam Dawson, who got out there, who got the, <coughs> the save. And then, it, according to the assistant and the ref at least, it's come back off Evans and behind for the goal kick. And another fantastic impersonation of the... Uh, was it the Northern...? Oh, no, the yeah. Angel of the North? Yeah. <laughs> Keeps doing impressions of the Angel of the North. There's four seconds, ref! They've had the four seconds. We've had the seven minutes. There is a header, so it's whatever Rebecca Welsh adds on for the Palmer injury. She looks at a watch. Still oh, tied. Come on, ref. Preston with one last chance. Wednesday hanging on. It's Miller. He goes on the outside. He crosses it in. Yes! And come on! Catches it. And That's got to be it now. Here. Like a goal has been scored. Now the no, dog gets sent off. We've got another game on Monday. What's oh, all this about? There's a bit of pushing and shoving. Cam Dawson has stayed down. And well, there's only three of our players down. One of the Wednesday players collided with the keeper, it seems, as they were trying to keep that one out. But look, that was a great catch. And now, what's the referee decided? She's, She's going to drop it. Off. Cam Dawson. We are staying up, is now the champ <laughs> from the Wednesday end. What a brave effort this has been. Well done to Cam Dawson, who's caught pretty much every cross he has, got yeah. in. He has. Michael e. Hecker, who's pretty much headed every other cross away. Yeah. As Dawson kicks, ball. Get time. in there! What a win for Sheffield Wednesday. They end 2023 with a massive three points, John Pearson. What a result through Marvin Johnson's goal and a fantastic rear guard effort in this second half. They have had to fight for this one with injuries in the first half and George Byers being sent off in the 85th minute. But John Pearson, the points will be heading back to South Yorkshire. Yeah, fantastic performance, fantastic effort. You know, lots of things went wrong in that game. You know, and it, it could, we could pay for that on, on Monday night when we play Hull. But we've got a saver tonight, three points. I think when I came here, I would have taken a point and a win on Monday, but, you know, the, the character, everything about the side tonight has been brilliant. Great opportunity for the rest. I mean, uh, you're filming that behind, behind the goal. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Chris Powell absolutely uh, the celebrations down there. He... Certainly enjoyed himself a big hug for Danny Rural and captain Barry Bannon. And a high five between Powell and Rural. And now Rural will head over to that away end and he will have his moment with the Sheffield Wednesday fans who have really taken to this manager having the job. Right, I, I've lost you completely because I'm watching what's going on down there. I'm watching Paul Valentin go across there as well. Danny Rurls enjoying every second and rightly so.